Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be building a table out of scrap lumber. This is scrap material that's just been laying around the yard that I've picked out and going to be using. First off, I have these two four by fours. They're approximately 32 inches in length. I plan to make this table a two leg style table. I will have to take these to the miter saw and get these squared off the ends. And also I'd like to run it through the planer. And here I have some two by sixes as well as two by eights. So my original plan was to build the table top with these two by eights but unfortunately i only have three pieces and i plan to build this table five feet in length and i'm hoping to get it at least 28 inches in width so what i was thinking i could save these two by eights for something else and just go with two by sixes so i have these two pieces but the thing i don't like about these pieces are these holes so this one's the much shorter piece this piece i might not even be using if i have to use it i will um i I was going to also resort to milling down one of these 2x8s to make it a 2x6. I have this here that's kind of been laying around the yard. There's two pieces, one at the bottom, one at the top. Those are 2x6s and they are in pretty good condition. I really don't know where I'm going with this. I do have somewhat of a plan in mind. I do have two pictures that I will show you. Here's photo one. This is kind of a little bit too small. Photo two. This is more of the style that I kind of want to go with, but they're both generally the same idea. For 2x4s, I do have some out of this here that I could salvage as well. And then I've also saved some more pieces that came from an old workbench that I've taken apart. So this is going to be my second project. This here was my first project. This is built out of scrap lumber as well. Enough talking, let's get to work. All right, so I finished the legs and they turned out somewhat pretty good. I really like the rustic look on them. I didn't want to get them too perfect. I think I planed them down a whole quarter of an inch. They're approximately three and a half inches now. Um, these little imperfections I'm going to leave. Um, I think they really leave a lot of character. Very nice rustic old look to them. So I'm going to keep them like that. Um, next, I'm going to start cutting my 2x6 to length. And like I said, I may have to mill one of these up to get another 2x6. All right, so I finished cutting the two by sixes. I originally wanted minimum 28 inches or more. Um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. And next I'm going to be planning these down and we'll go from there.
So I've done this off camera, but I've cut in four pieces, 27 and 5 eighths long. These will be my top and bottom pieces for my table legs. So next I'm going to take these and plane them down as well. And I will find my measurements for my braces. All right, so I got my four pieces all planed up. I chose these two pieces to be the bottom. Those over there will be the top. And I planed an extra two by four. And I'm gonna be cutting four pieces at three and a half inches. And those will go right at the very bottom of the table legs. Alright, so this here is the idea. Here are my four pieces that I cut. Once I get these screwed down, and they will be flipped. I'm just going to be using what I have on hand. I have these two and a half inch deck screws. All right, here is what I did next. For my bottom leg pieces, I marked the exact center and also on my post. I'm going to screw these in next and then I will calculate my angle and length for my pieces to go here to here for my support braces. So here's my speed square and it lines up just perfectly. So I did find my angles for all my support pieces. This here is main piece, the main fitted one. And these ones here, I have a bevel cut already and I have them measured out. All I really need to do is finish cutting these pieces and, and then I can start assembling the table.
I worked on this late last night and I couldn't decide on what I wanted to do with the table. So what I've decided is I was going to take one of my two by eights and mill it down to the exact measurement as one of these. And I decided that I wanted a two inch overhang. And as for the front, I think I'll probably go with like a three or a three and a half inch overhang. And for the middle here, I've seen some pictures on similar style tables. They have a four by four that connects there to there for extra support. And I don't have any more four by fours. I really don't want to go buy one because this build is supposed to be out of scrap wood. So I'm going to be making my own four by four. I have a two by four that I will have to plane down to size and I have another one laying someplace that I could use up. So as of right now I'm going to be taking one of my better looking two by eights, mill it up to size and go from there. All right, guys, I made a big mistake. I cut this undersized. So earlier when I was planning these, I could have sworn that I milled these down to five inches. My mistake is I assumed they were five inches. Turns out they're five and a quarter. Now, if you come over to my table saw, I had it set to about an eighth of an inch over so I could plane it down to five inches. But I'm looking on the bright side. I can still mill this down to be a two by four. I will use this piece to go with that piece so I can make my four by four joint at the bottom. Yay! All right, guys. So I finally got my piece cut and milled down to the right size this time. It does stand out and look different compared to the rest, but what can I do? I did figure out my cross piece here to be three feet, 11 inches and a half. So I will have to make my post now. Okay, I have my two boards milled up and ready to go. I did cut them oversized. They're about an inch or so longer because once I have them clamped and glued together, I would like to take them to the miter saw and just square off the edges just so that they're perfectly square together. Okay, so here's the 4x4. Four four. I ran it through the planer just so everything is smooth. Got rid of all the glue as well. So earlier when I installed these screws, I made sure that I put these screws deep enough so that when I did run it through the planer, the knives wouldn't catch the screws. So I am now ready to measure this out to the exact length that I need it. Okay, this is what I mentioned before gluing them together and then cutting it to square off both okay so i have here a 3 8 by 6 inch long bolt i have here a 3 8 drill bit i've marked on both legs i found the center points and where i'd want to drill <laughs> Thank you. 
on the drill press it didn't go through all the way which is totally fine i'll take my cordless drill now and slowly drill through the rest of the way i'm really hoping i don't have any blowout on the other side It's not bad at all. I think that worked out well. Okay, so this is probably not the way to go, but it's going to work for me. I've just taken some scrap pieces and nailed them to the legs, just so I can get this centered and use a drill bit. And these holes will act as an alignment guide and drill some holes straight through into my four x four piece. All right, so it worked out pretty good. All right guys, so here is the table. So I went ahead and cut this piece. I went and cut it just about an inch shorter than the table. So on both sides, I will have a half inch space. And you can see I have a 45 bevel cut and it will go exactly center of the table, just like that. This will help to add just a little bit more support. And the main idea is basically just to keep all the boards aligned. So you can tell a lot of these boards are not lining up properly, especially over here. This one's really bowed in. This little simple design will help to keep it out of sight. All right, here it is guys, it's all finished. I am eventually going to seal it off and put a finish on it, but um, as of right now, I am going to leave it as is. I would like to get it finished before spring comes around, so just so I can avoid it shrinking or expanding, because if it does that, my joints will definitely get weak. But I'm really happy with this table, the way it turned out, it looks a lot better than I was expecting. Um, it is very solid. The original purpose of this table was basically just to be a table, but I would also like to use it as a workbench as well because it is pretty heavy duty. Being built out of scrap lumber, um, this turned out better than I thought. The thing about planing this rough lumber, you don't know what's in it. I carefully went through every board and to make sure that, that there was no nails in the material but there's always surprises and you can tell here that is a gouge in my planer because i didn't catch all the nails i must have missed and ran about two to three nails through my planer so i will have to be replacing my blades on my planer so this is it guys if you have any questions leave them in the comment section leave a like and i will see you again in another video